Hello everyone. Uh, in these next few lectures, we're going to focus on one thing with the description, and that is the headline. Always start your descriptions with a headline. It grabs the uh, reader's attention and gets them wanting to read more. Okay, I see so many descriptions which don't have a headline or are just one sentence long. That's not the way to do it. You want a headline and then you want to follow up with a great description, but the headline is key. So we're gonna have a couple of uh, lectures on headlines uh, so that you can get this right. And uh, it's kind of a little skill if you like. And uh, once you've got it down, you can put headlines into your descriptions that will really grab the, the customer's attention and get them reading and wanting to start buying. So we have a customer who has clicked onto our product listing. We have their attention. We now need to spark their interest this will normally be done with good images and if you're on Amazon then utilizing the bullet points is crucial to make the customer either buy there and then or scroll down to your super awesome product description. So basically it's kind of a chain of sequence of events. We've got the product photos all down, they're looking great. The bullet points will be part of the description of what we're, what we're trying to achieve here if you're on Amazon. And then it kind of moves down to the description where we kind of seal the deal, if you like. Either way, once your customer has been wowed by your attention grabbing title and professional looking images, then their interest juices should already be starting to flow as they scroll down to that great description that you're about to write. Okay, we always start our descriptions with a headline. Now, looking at that straight away, the most eye-grabbing thing on this slide is the top line, and that's that's a headline right there. Okay, yes, it's in larger text and it's in bold, um, which a lot of headlines are. You will be able to get your text in bold on Amazon, and everywhere else you'll be should be able to change the size and make your headline stand out a lot, like the one on this slide. Um, Amazon's probably the most restrictive, but Everyone's in the same boat with that. You just gotta make do with what you can do. Uh, make your description bold, make it front and center. This tells our half sold customer that there is more very relevant, cool information on the products you are looking at and very interested in. The headline needs to be completely focused on the product and what it can do to better the customer's life. Okay, that's very important. Now I've taken a little clipping again down here. Um, took this from Amazon, and uh, it's a product description on a I think a roller roller muscle massager, uh, <laughs> a deep tissue tissue massage therapy roller. So you kind of roll your leg or your arm on it, and uh, it'll uh, it'll massage after after a workout. Um, but checking out the headline here, they have tried to make it stand out as much as possible. They've just asked a question. Want to supercharge your workouts and drive your performance harder? Now, I, I, anyone who's into exercise is probably going to go, yeah. So <laughs> then it goes down and it gives you the, uh, the second headline, if you like, underneath. Discover the missing link to more strength and flexibility with foam roller deep tissue massage therapy, exclamation mark. There you go. They've... Um, ask the question and then answer the question with their product. They haven't actually mentioned the product at all in any of those two lines. And uh, it's just been about what the what they can do for the customer, what their product can do for the customer. And then it goes on from there. Okay, here's a kind of a version A, version B type thing. Uh, version A, you see a line like this, a headline like this all the way through um, Amazon, eBay, everywhere. Sports jump rope for sale, okay? It says what it is, and it says it's for sale. So people go, okay, sports jump rope for sale. Version B, reach insane new levels of fitness used by instructors, professionals, and enthusiasts all over the world. That's not telling you that there's a jump rope for sale, but it's telling you what it can do for the customer. Now, if they're already reading the description of the product, they know what they're looking at. They don't need to be told, oh, there's a jump rope for sale. They're well, they're well aware that there's a jump rope for sale because they've just seen what they've clicked onto. Okay, what they want to know is what it can do for them. So obviously version B is 
you know, whipping version A right there. Okay, the point of a good headline is to get people reading more of your description. If you were to use headline version A, then it would be easy for a customer to skip over the description and move on. Now, yeah, you've just got a few words there in version A. Um, looking at the Amazon page, it would be very easy to, to just kind of look over that. And um, there's so much going on on that page. There's so many links, ways to click off of that page. You need to grab the attention of your, your potential customer here. By having a description like version B, you're enticing the customer to read more as it generates interest. You will also notice in version B that there is no mention of the product anywhere. Your customer already knows what they're looking at and all they care about is what it can do for them. So here we are at this uh, muscle roller, muscle mauler, as they call themselves, the muscle mauler, quite like that, the foam roller, muscle mauler. And uh, you can see that their listing is very good. Um, they've got great product images and they, you know, they've got one here with the product in the bag, it looks great. And uh, the bullet points are excellent as well. So we've been impressed with what we've seen. We have, they have our attention as a potential muscle mauler roller foam customer. So we want more information. Now, straight away as we scroll down here, we're here with about 10 different ways to click off the website. So we, you have to be an interested customer to keep going down past this, past external ads here that we could click off from. You need to go straight to this. They want to read more. They know they're heading to the description. Now, there's one line down here just saying, muscle roller stick for sale or great workout massage and muscle roller stick. Then that's it. That's not going to be enough for them not to just go, oh, look at the pink Nike one here. Or we'll click on that, you know, and they'll be gone. Okay. Straight away here. Want to supercharge your workouts and drive your performance harder? Then there's a second headline we've just been through, and then it goes down into the description. Um, so order now, call to action at the bottom here. It's a very, very good description, and uh, you know there's all the the high the highlight points and the calls to action on what it can do for the customer are in bold. Um, it's got more information in there if they really want to have a good read. By the end of that, they're going back to the top and they're hitting the they had to basket or the buy now button. Okay, so yeah, that was just thought I'd show you that. Right, we're gonna do a quick little exercise here, guys. Um, we need you to write down a minimum of five headlines for your product and have a read through them. This gets the brain into gear and be, can be quite fun. You will usually see one that jumps out at you. This is the winner and you should try that first. If you are having trouble with this, uh, the next lecture I'm gonna do kind of like an exercise stroke lecture on how to construct headlines using a real real easy method and um, so you can either go straight to the next lecture and check that out first or jot down five headlines and if you like the look of them and you think they look good then go with that uh, it's completely up to you but yeah the next lecture we're going to have a a whole exercise kind of deal on that and i'll show you how to an easy way to uh, construct really great headlines okay thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next lecture